Hello, my name is Agata, and this is the weekly reading from the 28th of December uh, 2015 uh, to uh, the 3rd of January 2016. So, how does this work? You pick an option, option 1, 2 or 3, uh, and uh, according to your choice, that will be the, the week for you. Also, you can have a question in your head and pick uh, a different option or even the same number uh, and according to your selection, uh, you will receive guidance uh, or an answer. Plus this, I'm going to do, do it a bit differently. So there's two cards, which is what, what I usually do. And the... The deck that I'm using is the Mimi Connolly Tarot deck. This is this one. So cute. And there will be an additional card, which will be the from the Angel Meditations uh, deck. And this is more like a guidance sort uh, of, an angel guidance uh, sort of last card. So, if you'd like uh, a private consultation with me. You just have to send me an email to dunyazar.gmail.com. Uh, I'll be happy to work with you. All of my um, astrological readings or tarot readings are written down. I write them down and they are done by me. It's no software, okay? This is my, I don't know how to say this in English. In Portuguese you call it salamandra. My salamandra. Stone whatever. And it's cold in Portugal. It's cold. It's so warm here. Oh, so warm. Oh, I like it so much. So have you picked option one, two, or three? Okay. So if you picked option one, the cards that came out for you were the eight of swords and the five of pentacles. They came out like this. So, uh, maybe, maybe you're feeling a bit trapped. Trapped, isolated, because this guy is like inside and outside there's the swords and the snow, and maybe the, the snow goes up till the door, so he, he's trapped, he cannot leave, or he thinks he can't leave. Uh, so he feels trapped, isolated, excluded, uh, ostracized even. Now, this could be true, could be a reality of a situation or something that he thinks. can be like a negative type of thinking, could be a trapped, or which he, he, he's done himself, it could be self-sabotage. He's feeling like a victim. But is he truly a victim or is it more like he's feeling like one he's, um, it, is it is it more a matter a matter of self sabotage and not true reality and the card that comes right after that one it more or less speaks the same it speaks of someone who doesn't have self confidence doesn't have faith in himself or herself again feels like a victim feels trapped feels oh, i can't do anything whatever i do is wrong why try I don't have enough money, I don't have enough resources, but like there's like an angel, a little angel on top, taking the blind from her, her eyes, so she kind of needs to see, he or she needs to see things a bit more clearly, and not keep on self-sabotaging yourself, okay, maybe the resources, even if, it, if it's a, a true situation, uh, something which is real, maybe you are a victim, maybe you are trapped in a situation, in whatever, it could be a job, it could be a relationship, whatever it is, even if it's true, uh, it's the five of pentacles, even if the resources are little, there's something which you can use, and you can grow from there, whatever the tiny little thing you have, you can grow from there, if you take the blindfold from your eyes, okay, if you ask I don't know if you believe it or not. If like if you ask for help above, if you ask the help from your angels, and then when you receive any type of 
guidance forward okay the the angel card that came for you the angel meditations that came out for you was the angel of abundance this is interesting so this person is feel he's feeling trapped he's feeling like i don't have enough i don't have enough and the card that came comes out for you is the angel of abundance and it says i am life abundant and the love of god lives in me uh, to lovely to lovingly accept people and situations knowing that here and now uh, all uh, all is in the right place and in the right moment is to be aware of, of abundance abundance is not the great quantity of things but the awareness of quality within all we have so maybe you, you feel like you don't have enough but the, the angel is saying you should really uh, uh, be aware of all the things that you have you're probably not being grateful for all the things that you that you really have maybe you don't have a lot but the things that you have are of great quality and are exactly what you need okay there's more abundance in your life than the one you think you have okay if you picked option number two we have uh, the Ten of Cups and the Seven of Swords. How oh, it came out? It came out like this. Give me. This is how I see them. This one first and this one second. Okay. Maybe the Ten of Cups is usually a very good card. It speaks of abundance, of joy, of extreme yeah extreme joy like a blissful domestic environment everything is okay with your family you have a happy marriage you have happy kids like uh, uh, domestic bliss bliss but the card that comes right after that one is the, the card which I associate with lying and deception and stealing so maybe this bliss in this uh, harmony within the family is done um, because there's some sort of deception maybe the harmony isn't true because someone is lying to you someone is lying within the family someone is lying within the marriage there's some sort of lying within the family unit so you think that everything is all right but no there's there's lies, there's deceptions, there's fraud, something like that. Um, and maybe, or the, the other poss possibility is you want the domestic bliss. You want the harmony. And because you want it so much, you refuse to see the reality. And the reality might be a bit different. You, let's say you're just married or about to get married or whatever though this speaks more of marriage which has already happened and you think that everything is great everything is like a fairy tale everything is fabulous but it's not because you refuse to see the reality um, so be a, a bit more try to be a bit more rational more logic more lucid Try to face reality. You know? Be honest about the truth in your family, whatever it is. Um, and the angel card that came out for you was the angel of responsibility. The angel of responsibility. Um, my ability to respond makes me feel accountable. I am joyfully responsible for my life. Yeah, it's like you don't want to see reality. Responsibility is one of the things uh, that entails is seeing reality, not hiding from reality. 
Whenever we use our ability to respond with our talents and capacities to all that is ascribed to us, we are being responsible. This can mean using those talents and abilities for the good of all in a light and joyful way. Responsibility is only a burden when we forget, when we forget to use uh, our talent, talents and uh, cut ourselves off from the flow of spiritual energies that are always waiting to help us whenever we can respond. There's maybe, maybe there's some sort of responsibility in your family life which you are choosing not to see. Pretending that everything is alright, pretending that everything is blissful and it's not. So whatever it is, you know, take responsibility for it and it could be something like an alcoholic spouse and you're not facing reality because you don't want to. You want to pretend everything is alright. So, if you've picked option 3, the cards that came out for you were the transition card, number 13, which in other decks or traditional decks are, is called the death card, which is a good card, I keep saying, and the hanged man, number 12. And so how do I see them? I see them how? Like this? Yeah, first this one came out and then this one to me. First this one, this one. So there's some sort of spiritual transition in your life, some spiritual change in your life, some spiritual awakening in your life. Maybe you change religions, maybe there is some sort of transformation within your spiritual self or even your re religious self. Let's say you're, uh, I don't know, Catholic. And uh, even, even though you don't leave the church, something connected with the church or with yourself um, changes. Or you might be leaving or, or want to leave the church uh, where you are, or the temple, or whatever, and go to a different type of religion. I don't know what type of religion. Maybe within Christianity, but not necessarily. Um, could be that, could be like a spiritual thing. It could be, it has nothing to do with religion, just spirituality. Right? Just like a spiritual awakening of some kind, a spiritual transition. Could be that, could be also um, that there's a change of perspective in your life. You used to see things, not in, and I'm not saying this is uh, in terms of spirituality, this is generally, uh, you used to see things in a certain way, and now you, you're feeling within yourself that you're seeing things in a different perspective. Okay? Let's say that, I don't know, you hate your job or hated your job, but something within you happens or something else, like uh, an outside action, whatever happens, and you start seeing the job or the duties or whatever uh, you used to see in a different type of light, you see it in a new light, it can be like that. It can also mean accepting a sacrifice. So some, in order for some transformation and change and a new cycle in your life to occur, occur to happen, uh, there needs to be a sacrifice of some kind. I don't know of what, but you need to sacrifice something in order to move on to a different life. So you move on to a different life and that entails a sacrifice of something. Uh, can also be, in more practical terms, some sort of illness. Okay. Um, and the the um, the angel card that came out for you is the angel of gratitude. 
angel of glass you see the little angel with yellow wings praying to the sun I'm not praying yeah kind of like praying with your hands up to the sun and it says I give thanks and appreciate each conscious moment of my life could be that could be that could be that change in perspective like I should be thankful for every tiny little moment in my life because maybe the death card this this, this transition maybe you so this guy is coming from um, out of the darkness and he goes into the light maybe he was ill maybe he or she was sick maybe you were sick um, and from now on this person decides every tiny little moment that I live that I experience in my life I'm gonna be happy that I lived it I'm gonna be I'm gonna appreciate every single moment that I live so it's, it's a changing of thought a changing of perspective uh, it is very important to feel gratitude for all that we have been able to accomplish. When we look at who we really are here and when we uh, look at who we really are here and now, we open to the wonderful source of spiritual energy that eternally flows in our lives. The feeling of gratitude fills our hearts and uplifts the vibrations of all that is around us. So this is a very positive, I would say like generally, it's a very positive message. I hope you have a fantastic new year. Um, even though I'm making this reading uh, now, and this reading is for the end of December, not necessarily. So you could be seeing this like in the year 2040, I don't know if YouTube still exists then, or 2020, whatever. I hope you have a great day today, okay? Thank you very much for watching, and if you'd like a um, private consultation with me, please send me an email to duniazad.gmail.com. I do astrological readings and uh, tarot readings, and all of them I are written down by me, okay? Thank you!